A Daytona Beach woman says she's glad she has her pit bulls by her side because on Monday, a carjacking suspect was chased out of her apartment by her dogs. Action News Jack's Don Lopez has more. When he came in, he had his hands up. Hollering, mama, mama, help me. I'm like, I ain't none of your mama. What you, what? Mary Gilbert says on Monday morning, she heard a knock at the door, but once she opened it slightly, she was pushed backwards after Volusia County Sheriff's deputies say 42-year-old Anthony Galloway forced his way inside. And that's when she called in help from her pit bulls, Willow and Roxy. They grabbed him here and the officers came in and once they came in, they asked me to call the dogs off. And once I called the dogs off, he got up from here and he ran here and jumped out of my kitchen window. Investigators say Galloway smashed the glass window and then jumped in from the second floor. Moments before, investigators say Galloway was being pursued by deputies following a carjacking at a BP gas station. He got the phone, my wallet and everything. On the phone with dispatchers, the victim says that Galloway threatened to harm him before stealing his car. This, this wasn't a carjacking, right? They didn't like throw you out of the vehicle? No, they just put a gun out of me. I was pulling the gas at the gas station. Wait, they put a gun at you? Yes. Detectives say after the dog attack inside Gilbert's apartment, Galloway took off running to a business warehouse, and that's where he refused to come out for about an hour. Come out now with your hands up, man. Now, this video shows SWAT officers moving closer and then breaking open the door where Galloway barricaded himself before he's taken into custody. <laughs> Law enforcement says about 70 officers were called there to the scene. We would have gave you one, man. All you do is come out. And then a couple of hours later, a woman calls dispatch reporting her seven-year-old son had found a gun near their apartment, and apparently he was so curious he had fired a single shot. Witnesses say this is where the bullet hit the building. The sheriff's office says the gun matches the same gun used by Galloway in the carjacking and believe he tossed it while running from deputies. Thankfully, the boy fired into a vacant apartment and no one was hurt. For coverage, you can count on Don Lopez, Action News Jax.